hello everyone welcome to solve this nice math problem so if we have x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 is equals to x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 so here we solve this problem for all the values of x so here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root Further, we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods. But if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And now we move towards our first method. And in the first method, uh, here we need to cross multiply the terms so that here we multiply this x plus 1 to this term and we multiply this x minus 1 or to this term. So after cross multiplication of the terms here we will get this is x minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 is equals to x plus 1 is multiplied by x plus 1. So here you know about that when we multiply uh, any two same numbers it will become into the square form. So here you have x minus 1 and x minus 1. So when we multiply these two terms, it will be written as x minus 1 whole square. In the same pattern here we have this is x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. And here we need to multiply and we write it as x plus 1 whole square. And now here further in the next step, uh, in order to find the roots of this equation, we just use here the nice algebraic formula. So you know about that. If we have a minus b whole square is equals to uh, a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square. So you uh, apply this formula or uh, in other words we have uh, more possibilities. Uh, so here we apply this is the a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square. So uh, according to this we have a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so if we apply these two formulas so that we apply this formula into the left hand side and this formula into the right hand side so after applying this formula as this for these formulas our above equation is written as in this form uh, so we have when we apply this formula here it will becomes x square minus 2 times of x into 1 plus 1 square is equals to here we can apply this formula into the right hand side and after applying this it will be written as x square plus 2 times of x into 1 plus 1 square and now here we need more simplifications and uh, you see here we have this is x square minus 2 times of x plus this 1 square is equals to 1. And here we move all these terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as when you move this x square it will becomes minus x square. This is plus 2x becomes minus 2x. This is plus 1 square and we know about that 1 square equals to 1. So when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes minus 1 and this whole equation is equals to zero and now you see here this is the negative term this is the positive term are cancelled out by each other and here we need to add these two like terms so we have this is minus 2x and minus 2x becomes minus 4x so this is the positive one and this is the negative one are also cancelled out by each other and this whole equation is equals to zero and now here further in the next step in order to find the values of x we need to remove this minus 4 and for this we divide both of the sides by minus 4. So when we divide both of the sides by minus 4 it will become in this form. So this minus 4, this minus 4 are cancelled out by each other and we get here x is equals to this is 0 divided by minus 4 becomes 0. So this is the value of x so here in this method we get only one root of the given equation and that is x is equals to zero and now here in the next step we need to verify that is this value of x be the solution or is this value of x be the extraneous root so for this we need to copy down given question statement here it is x minus one divided by x plus one equals to x plus one divided by x minus one and here uh, we need to substitute x is equals to 0 on both of the sides. 
so when you put it on both of the sides it will be written as when you put here it will become 0 minus 1 divided by 0 plus 1 equals to 0 plus 1 divided by 0 minus 1 so here uh, you see that 0 minus 1 becomes minus 1 and 0 plus 1 becomes 1 similarly here you have 1 divided by minus 1 and this implies that we have minus 1 equals to minus 1 this shows that both of the sides are equal so if both of the sides are equal this means that uh, the value of x is equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement so here uh, we just write the solution set of the given question is x is equals to 0 so this is the final answer which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem for second method so in the second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here so that our given question statement is x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 equals to x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 so uh, in the second method here uh, the first steps are same which we can use in the first method so here we need to cross multiply the terms and after cross multiplication we will get here x minus 1 whole square equals to x plus 1 whole square and in this method uh, we move the term from right hand side to the left hand side and it will become x minus 1 whole square minus x plus 1 whole square and this whole equation is equal to 0. Here we use uh, an other nice algebraic formula you know about that if we have a square minus b square is equal to a minus b times of a plus b. And you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b. After applying uh, this formula, uh, we write our above equation as first you have a minus b, our a is x minus 1 minus our b is x plus 1 and when we multiply this negative sign, both of these two values becomes negative, okay. Then we have a plus b, so here our a is x minus 1 plus b is x plus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0. This is the negative uh, term, this is the negative and positive term are cancelled out by each other and here we get minus 1 and minus 1 becomes minus 2 and here you have this is plus 1 and minus 1 are gone and x plus x becomes 2x and this whole equation is equals to 0. So from here we get this is minus 4x equals to 0 and now for the values of x we need to move this uh, minus 4 to the right hand side and it will become 0 over minus 4. And this implies that we get the value of x is equals to 0. So this shows that uh, we get only one root of the given equation and in the first method we already verified that this value of x is satisfied our given question statement. So finally we have x is equals to 0 be the only one solution of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.